Hello, my beautiful AP Computer Science students. Welcome to our last lesson in Unit 8, where we are going to be go going over 2D array methods. Now, this is just a little baby lesson, um, just reminding you of some things that are true for two-dimensional arrays that were also true with arrays and all of those other things um, that we've been working with, okay? So, like 2D arrays, uh, or excuse me, remember that 2D arrays, like array list, arrays, objects, all of those, they pass a reference to a method. So that any changes made with the reference will persist in the original object. Okay, This is different than primitives um, and also strings, even though they're, they're technically reference, remember strings are immutable. So primitives and strings are passed by value so that any changes made in the method will not persist in the program. Okay? And this has been something that we've been seeing uh, as we've had our journey through AP Computer Science A, um, but it's worth remembering right now. And then um, I want to show you an example here, okay? So here's our example. The instructions just say to um, determine what's printed when the code executes, okay? So I have a whole class here and I have two methods. I have my main method here and then I have this um, method called change it. All right, so let's go through. We obviously always start with the main method. I have an array of strings called words, so I'm going to make that um, what that looks like in memory. Remember, words is a reference. Okay, so that means that words contains a memory address that basically points to the location of the actual data itself. So that when I have this right here, change it words, I'm passing the reference to the method change it. And you can see down here, it's ready for it, right? Change it is going to accept an array, a two-dimensional array of strings, and it's going to call it matrix. Now, when that happens, a new reference is created, matrix, and when you have references, set references equal to each other, um, remember that you are telling them to point in the same location, okay? So not that you're going to make a copy of the data, but you're just going to point to the same data, okay? Um, think of it as like um, a way to save memory, right? You're not going to just repeat this. You're just going to say, hey, let's just point to the same thing and save some memory, okay? Because we're the same anyway, right? That's not why Java does it, but that's just kind of how I like to think of it when we're talking about passing by reference. They're just going to reference the same thing, okay? So now when I come down here, um, and make changes and change it method runs and make changes to matrix, we're going to see that it actually also changes words. Okay, So here these first two just traverse through the array. I see it traverses through row major order, but it's not going to matter right now. So remember when you see that, just think, yes, that is traversing through my two-dimensional array. I'm going to be doing something with every element in my two-dimensional array. No element is left off. No row or column is cut off. I'm going through every element. Okay, And I'm asking a question at every element. I'm saying, is the current element, i, k, is the substring 0, 1? So remember, substring 0, 1, that represents the first letter of your string if it equals D, okay? So I'm asking the question, okay? Is the element's first letter D? And if it is, what am I gonna do? Uh, well, the element's gonna change, right? I'm assigning that current element a new value. Now, I put the words up there so you can see, you don't have to do a formal trace of this, right? You can go through, see what the method is doing, read what the method is doing, and then just make the changes. So this method, I can tell you, it goes through the array. If, a le if the word starts with D, it's going to become the word changed, okay? I know all of that just by looking at the code, okay? So dog and duck are my two words that start with D. Those are going to become the word changed. Okay? Now, all of this happened to matrix because I'm in my change it method. 
Once my change it method is completed, matrix gets garbage collected, meaning it goes away. Okay, it's no longer a reference. Um, and I go back up and I go to this right here. Okay, so this right here now I'm going to print off my um, two dimensional ar array. Okay, so I use a for each loop here just to show you how it's a nice way to print off things, right? Um, but it's going to print off change 10 cow, pig change chick. Okay, so words had these changes. Even though this happened to matrix, matrix and words pointed to the same location. So anything that happened to matrix also happened to words. Okay, I didn't return anything. This method was a void method, right? I don't have to return anything for those changes to be persistent, okay? And remember, this is true for arrays, array list, objects, okay? Any reference, except for strings, any reference, this is what happens, okay? Important to remember, right? So important that it was a single lesson in itself and we are already done with the knowledge I wanted to make sure you knew. <laughs> okay, so short lesson today. Thank you guys so much for watching. That actually is the end of our unit eight. Um, so now you know everything you need to know for two-dimensional arrays, um, and I hope uh, that brings you a lot of joy. So I will see you in the next unit, guys. Thanks so much for watching.